In just a couple of weeks, Pope Francis will make his first visit to the United States. And uh, this morning we get a first look at some of the images of the Pope. They're in a new book called Pope Francis, a, a photographic portrait of the people's Pope. And I got a look at the book from its author, a former Vatican guide, Father Michael Collins. First of okay, all, congratulations. I, I have the book with me and um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, I know this is much. not your first, but um, congratulations on the completion of this. I'm curious about, there are so many photos. Uh, I, is it a collection of photographers who took these? No, it's principally the photographer who's the official photographer for the Pope for the last century. And the present uh, owner of the business, Giovanni, and his son, uh, Rodolfo, put together this concept, this idea of a book which would celebrate the arrival of the first Latino Pope to the papacy. And uh, what we've done is really made, I suppose you could say, a coffee table book with 1,700 photographs, not all from the uh, Felici studio, but most of them in order to give you an idea of what the Pope's day is like, uh, how he came to the papacy, what he does, the places he goes to, both within the Vatican around Rome, around Italy, and then his international trips. And of course, the big trip that he's going to make shortly to Cuba and to the United States. And I want to talk about that U.S. trip in just a moment, but looking at it, I'm exhausted. He's everywhere. <laughs> well, for a man of 78, he has incredible energy. He is extraordinary. I've seen him in action in maybe 90 degrees heat in St. Peter's Square after a general audience in the morning and he's bending over wheelchairs he's speaking to people with special needs or disabilities and i just wonder where does he get the energy a man with a bad back sciatica and as his sister says flat feet you know, he's great <laughs> energy he's wonderful <laughs> well i wonder too where he gets that energy my goodness uh, you mentioned the big trips trips of course coming up we know a lot of folks from rochester will be heading to the uh, philadelphia portion of the u.s trip and the, the world meeting of families uh this is uh the year of the family uh it's a whole year dedicated to this can you tell me why that's right well every few years this was pope john paul's idea in fact every few years they've a uh, themed uh, gathering of, of families because because the family is very important to christians as you can imagine and uh, it's worth celebrating so it's really a big jamboree it's a big festival come card carnival uh, to get together and celebrate the family so originally the people were expecting about maybe 10 to 15,000 and then when the pope announced last november that he was going to come uh, that number has gone up to around a million and i knew that not everybody can get to the vatican i knew also people are really loving this pope he's extraordinarily popular i i had no idea when i started working on this book in last fall that it would have the popularity and we've had to translate it quickly into spanish because there's so many spanish-speaking people want a version of the copy a version of the book and uh, i don't know what it is about him he speaks a common language he's very unpretentious he's very very friendly and i think people when they come to the uh, philadelphia event are really going to enjoy that that atmosphere uh, if you're lucky enough in fact to be in rochester and in the area yeah come down i'm going to make that the focus of my trip as well i'm going to go down for the last three days of the pope's visit to the states so to be there for the vigil on the 26th and then the, of course the big closing mass on the 27th of september I'll see you there. I'll be in that sea of one to 1.5, possibly even 2 million folks. I want to quickly ask you, we have one more minute to go. Uh, we mentioned the year of the family, and this book includes uh, parts about his childhood. And we've heard so much about his humble beginnings. Do you see what you are hearing about his childhood, how that has shaped him into the man and the pope he is today? Uh, yes, very much so. He was a son of migrants from Italy into Argentina, and that's given him this great warmth and feeling for people who are migrants, who are suffering in their own path of life. And uh, there's lots of textbooks, if you like, of Pope Francis, lots of biographies, etc. But what we want to do with this book is show you from his youth to the present day at 78, the path that he's chosen and that he's taken. We were lucky enough to get a, a copy here in our newsroom. Where, since there's so much interest right now, can people get this book? Well, it's in all the bookshops at the moment, and of oh. course, if you want, you can order it online. But I always say, support your local bookstore, first of all, and then my website is fathermichaelcollins.com. So if you want to, you'll go there and you can get more information about those books. Well, thank you. We are home to Kodak here in Rochester, so we like our pictures. So thanks for putting this together, Very and good. I will see you in Philadelphia.
Jennifer, looking forward. Thank you. Just myself and like 1.5 million. A you and others. Yeah, you know, 1.5 sure we'll million of your best friends, your closest <laughs> friends. Hey, coming up, if you don't have plans for this weekend,